Warcraft. Age of Darkness. Another 4chan quote leak. All right, let's go ahead and just look at it on the uh, on the WoW subreddit. Oh, three days ago. Okay, let's just look at it here. Uh, level squish. Oh, uh, this actually it seems like it'll be better here. Uh, level squish to 50. New cap is 60. Vanilla is 1 to 20. TBC, Wrath of the Witch King, Cataclysm is... Uh, thank you very much, Nerd Basher. Appreciate the 150k. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, Cataclysm is 20 to 30. Mop is... Uh, Wad is 30 to 40. Legion is 40 to 50. And... Uh, AOD is 50 to 60, so this is a new expansion. Okay. Um, alright, that's... Mount the cock? Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I will put on the cock, just so everybody knows where my money went. Okay, there we go, we're good. Uh, new, new class tinker. Two specializations, explosives, range direct damage, and combat medic healing. Wait, what the fuck? Okay, uh, exclusive to gnomes, mecha gnomes, drain eye goblins, uh, gill goblins. Forsaken, pre-purchasable with Mechanomes and Gil Goblins in 8.3 or 8.35. What the fuck is this? Fake? Well, just a second. Gil Goblin. Let me look this up. Gil Goblin. No, no, they're right there. No, this actually makes sense. Yeah, these are the uh, the goblins that you're able to get from uh, from Nashitar. No, 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 this isn't even bullshit at all. Look, look at this guy. Uh, it sounds all legit. Yeah, this is actually fan fiction. I don't think it's fan fiction. I mean, like, it could be, but, I mean, I don't think we can really tell. Uh, just give me one second here. Okay, um, let's see. All right, next. Okay, yeah, guys, please trade me any gold that you get. Just give me one second here. Uh, story, um, Nazoth unleashes darkness over Azeroth as foreshadowed in the Nighthold raid encounter with Star Augur Atreus. Starting point is the attack on Thunder Bluff Raid. Where he interrupts the Horde and Alliance forces in the final battle. Kalimdor is his first goal as he strives to revive one of our oldest foes, Seathun in Silithus. Cthun. Oh shit! Oh, 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 shit! Wait, what? Uh, hold on. Is Pyromancer here? Okay, we'll see. Uh, well, let's see. Uh, to do this, he's seeking to destroy the Bronze Dragonflight and turn Nazdormu, and turn Nazdormu into Murzond, so he alters the timeline where Cthune doesn't get defeated, and the battle for Ankaraj is lost by the Horde and Alliance in consequence. No real dragon focus yet, Bronze Dragon and Infinite Dragon Flights play a major role. Zalatath will play a major role as the main antagonist of the Old Gods, some sort of evil neutral. She commands us to captivate and imprison Sylvanas instead of killing her because we need her. Partial Old World Revamp. Only unlocks after finishing the prequest for Age of Darkness. For new players, it will be the same as live until they do the prequest at level 50. Starting with Kalimdor, Ungoro, Feralas, Desolus, Mulgore as high novel new zones. Silithus will be the end game zone akin to Suramar. Why is everybody saying fake? Like a vanilla wild feel? Wait, yeah, you're the one that said fake. Well, yeah, but I wasn't. Re I didn't. I hadn't read it by then. I mean, like, uh, I assume that things are fake, but I mean, I don't think there's anything in here that makes me feel like, okay, for sure, this is fake. Uh, that's all I'm really trying to say. Okay, uh, let me look at the rest of this. Okay, um, Eastern Kingdom will be revamped later on with something special planned for Gilneas, Tirasfall, and the Plaguelands. Hint towards the old god underneath Tirasfall. No. 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 No? No. No. Fake. Fake. It was a... Hey, by the way. It was a so, Cthraxi under Tira's fall. There's no old And guy. that was explained That's in the, the, the fake thing, leaks. right? Yeah. Fake. Are we sure... You're, you're sure about this, right? I'm pretty sure. I think... I think most of what they're saying right there okay. is like playing into things that the community's familiar with, like Zalatath. 
yeah. a big player for the old gods. Like, I don't really think, uh, I don't I, th I think that's fake. All right, well, let me read the rest of it just to see, okay? Um, just a second, guys. Uh, please, if you uh, if you can, uh, please go ahead and trade. Uh, sorry, and summon me over to uh, uh, over to where the rare is, okay? Or not summon me. Sorry, invite me to a realm where the uh, these rares are up. Uh, I'm gonna try and kill them while we look at these. Okay, this is all so much fun. Well, we'll we'll read the rest of the leaks and then we'll kind of go from there, okay? I think that's the main goal. Wouldn't they make Tinker Gnome only? That would be so bad. I think they could do that. I mean, they made that with Demon Hunters. Yeah, invite me to a realm where Arachnid Harvester is up, or uh, Rust Feather, one or the other. Okay, just give me one second. I'll read the rest of these. Okay, um... Essence System unlocked at level 50. Every class gets several new skills and traits. Uh, wait, what's this here? Several new skills and traits for 50 to 60, similar to the Glyph System, which had five sockets. Uh, wait, where is this guy? Wait, why do you invite me? You're in Stormsong Valley. You're too far away. Okay, thank you for trying, though. I appreciate. Uh, okay, let's see. Five sockets, uh, similar to Glyph Socket. We once had five sockets, two for passive traits, two for active skills, one ultimate ability. Wow, we MOBAs now, boys. Uh, reshaping the talent system. Offensive and defensive talents per bracket at level 120. Wait. Reshaping of the talent system. Offensive and defensive talents per bracket at level 10. Wait, what the hell is this? Um... 10, 20, 30, 40, and 50, you can pick one offensive plus one defensive talent per bracket. Conquest points. Sick. Yeah, I don't know about that. I mean, we'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. I don't think that invite went through, unfortunately. Okay, uh, conquest points. New max level leveling system. Unlocked at level 60, account wide. Different bonuses you can spend points on, more execute damage, higher run speed. Once unlocked, it's available for all characters on the account that's at least level 10. So can all your characters just run fast? Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Okay, great. Uh, that's the link of the, uh, the thing that we're looking at. Uh, this is a good idea. I'd actually... Actually, I don't know. It, it depends on if it's capped. Like, if it's capped, I would be okay with it. But if it's just another infinite progression system, I wouldn't like it. I, I feel like that's the main difference for me. Uh, yeah, I, I would not like to see that. Okay, let me go ahead and double check here. Uh, release date plan for... Okay, this is the release date. Uh, plan for Q4 2020, but they want to polish this expansion so it might get delayed. Okay, yeah, this, this leak is fake. Yeah, Q... <laughs> yeah, th this is fake. A hundred percent. I didn't know about it until this point, but after this line, yeah, this one's fake. Mm. There's a, there's one on Reddit that was actually like pretty decent. Whoever was typing it was like uh, pretty well spoken. They they typed pretty well. Yeah. And it seemed a hell of a lot more reasonable, like the things that they were saying. I don't have a link to it, unfortunately, but. All right. Well, let me finish this one, and then we'll uh, we'll talk about that. Uh, Eight point two. We introduced a new heritage armor and new models. We'll deal mostly with factions in the aftermath of the events from the Eternal Palace. Final patch 8.3 is set in Mulgore. Center around Sylvanas' plan to attack Thunderbluff. Mulgore will be turned into the new max level zone similar to Mechagon with ongoing progress and weekly unlocks culminating in the attack of Thunderbluff Raid. Sylvanas is the final boss with Nathanos aiding her. Nathanos will be killed. Sylvanas will be severely wounded. Cap uh, cal captivated, okay, uh, and imprisoned by her sisters, Alaria and Varisa. Shortly before the fight is over, Nazas minions enter the battlefield and fight Sylvanas and us, and everything turns dark. No schedule for the patches yet, as everything during BFA took longer than expected. Plan is for 8.3 to be released this year, yet it might not happen. Mechanomes and Gil Goblins will be the last pair of allied races coming in 8.3.5. Factions will not merge or get removed. There will be some kind of neutrality and the interfactional group play, communication enabled. One of the big reasons is given as a huge discrepancy in Alliance versus Horford on most realms and in the raiding community. Uh, what do you think? Does this sound better than the last leaks? Okay. Um... So basically, the reason and and like, all right, can somebody invite me to a realm where these rares are up uh, on Mechagon? You have to be on Mechagon Island if you have these rares up on your realm. Uh, okay, is this real? I would say probably not. Hell no. 
No. Like, I, I'm going to say probably not. So this is like, no. The only thing that gives this any veracity is um, probably the Thunder Bluff thing. That's Which the only everyone thing kind of knows is yeah. going to happen anyway, right? Because like yeah, everybody knows that. But the the real point where I said that it was going to be fake is the uh, they want to polish this expansion. Now Blizzard has been doing the thing where every other expansion is good. So if BFA is the bad expansion, then we can expect this one to be the good one. Uh, same as you know, like Wad sucked. Uh, you know. Whatever, like Cataclysm was bad, Mist of Pandaria was good, I uh, had a lot of content at least, and um, WAD was bad, Legion was good, BFA was bad, this one's gonna be good, right? That's basically it. That would have been leaked before 8.2 if it was true. That's true also. Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, I bet the ending will be worse than that. I don't know, so what do you think, Pyromancer? Where, where do you think it's gonna go? Where do, I mean, where do I think, like, the next expansion is gonna yeah. go? Like, well, I mean, I think that some shit that they're kind of hinting at I think has some weight to it. Like I think that we're probably due for for a world revamp. Like, if they have the resources to do it, I think that it's a good way to to pull in new players. I think that that's reasonable. Uh, there's there's literally a command that you can type in the game that shows you that there was supposed to be a Silver Moon Warfront. We've been wanting a Silver Moon Warfront for or not a Warfront, Silver Moon revamp rather. Because no one wants a fucking uh, what, thirteen years. To be yeah, for like, about <laughs> for like that, yeah. 13 years, so being able to fly there and having like updated new city hubs and stuff like that would be cool. Like one of the other leaks talks about like a revamp of Gilneas, which I think would be fucking awesome. That would be fucking but... amazing. I'm so looking forward to that. Like right now, I feel like Gilneas is like one of those places in the game that Blizzard just decided, uh, okay, we'll come back to this. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's, that's the way it seems to me. I, I, I genuinely don't yeah. think they have any plans for it or anything. Okay. Thank you very much, Bello, for inviting me to a realm where the uh, the rare literally just died, and he laughed at me. Well, look at you. You're sitting here on your shitty-ass Firelands transmog. Hey, fly! Can you fly? Looks like he probably can. Yeah, he can fly. Okay, he's got flying. Never mind. Okay, yeah, you can? Okay, great. Well, then everybody can see that you have this outdated mount that wasn't even cool ten years ago. Fuck you, Bello. And so, yeah, anyway, I was thinking, like, they probably... Oh, just a second. Uh, invite. Um, I, I was thinking they probably will do something that's going to deal with the old gods, though, right? I mean, like, in the next expansion? I kind mm -hmm. of just expect that, right? At this point, yeah, I mean, I think that Nihilotha and whatever that is, and, like, the Shadowlands and stuff like that is probably, like, right on the cusp of being revealed to us. If that doesn't happen late this expansion, then it's probably going to happen next expansion. Yeah. And, I don't know, I, I think that... Nihilotha, like where the old gods, you know, apparently have those deep connections, probably either in the Shadowlands or is the Shadowlands. So I think we're inevitably gonna figure it, you know, figure out about that. Probably I've, gonna be pretty insane. Yeah, I mean, I feel like that could happen. I'm expecting the Shadowlands, or not, uh, I was thinking Nihilotha to be 8.3. I mean, that's what they've been talking about for a long time. I mean, it's like the second to last boss is like whatever the hell that guy's name is. Um, uh, what do you Harbinger call it? of Nihilotha, is yeah, that cool yeah. or whatever it is? Yeah, I mean, it seems like it just makes sense. Yeah, I think so too. Like, I think they've kind of cock teased us about the fucking old gods for, I don't know, how many years now, and especially Nazoth, <laughs> since, like, Cataclysm, essentially. So, yeah, I think basically. it's kind of time that they finally, uh. I could see them give us I, I don't know. How do you feel about them bring. <laughs> Sorry, God. I did, no, I just came up to the rare and just fucking killed him. <laughs> Okay, all right. Can somebody invite me to a realm where Rust Feather and uh, and the Arachnid Harvest are up? Uh, just real quick, guys. Uh, I'm doing my best. Okay, one second. Let me look at the rest of this here. Okay. Um, uh, who's Pyromancer? Yeah, Pyromancer does a lot of war videos. Uh, like we've watched a number of his videos on my stream, so you guys know who he is. Um, I think they have the Reddit link. Uh, ask him about Cthulhu and Yogg. Yeah. Do you think that Cthulhu and Yogg are going to come back? I feel like Cthulhu probably will. I think, uh, here's what I think. I think it's okay. less likely that they come back and more likely that we go to wherever they are. And, uh, I think that that's in a pretty bad, dark place <laughs> that we've never seen yeah, before. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that makes sense. The dragon asked, yeah, what about the dragons? Uh, I mean, the dragons, what we're doing with the with their empowerments into the heart of Azeroth is pretty Dragon Soul-esque, and we've kind of seen little uh, agents of Rathian hiding here or there all over the, the new zones. So yeah. I think that the Black Dragons are probably going to make some kind of comeback. I mean, people have been talking about the Dragon Isles for a little while as well. I don't know if we're really going to 
we're ever gonna get that, or if we're gonna get it uh, in this expansion. But yeah, people thought they were getting that in vanilla WoW, so uh, <laughs> you know, I'll uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath. Uh, I I don't know, man. Like, I'd like to see some. Like, well, let me ask you. Like, what do you want to see? Um, well, I would like to see because the way that I see uh, WoW right now is that now that we've kind of dealt with Queen and Shard, well, no, well, she's not entirely dealt with, but. There's really not that many enemies left to fight, to be honest. Um, and I kind of think that there will probably come a point of revelation where we realize that uh, the titans that we're working really hard to help are probably not very good for our health, considering that Mechagon is kind of trying to illustrate that to us. You know how they, they think flesh is bad and <laughs> kind of, you know... I think it's kind of hinting that, that something really, really bad is coming with the titans that we just kind of released from Sargeras, by the way, so um, remember the fact that Algalon was literally going to re-originate our entire world. Reply on code Alpha. Yeah, yeah, the I mean, reply code, dude! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's not exactly good news for us. <laughs> I think people kind of have forgotten about that. So, but so. wouldn't you think that wouldn't make sense because the Titans helped us uh, imprison Sargeras and everything, though? I mean, like... Yeah. Well, y you know... <laughs> I think uh, sometimes you got to do really bad things to get to the the good result at the end, and I think that uh, while while the I'm not going to necessarily say that I agree with everything that the Legion and Sargeras did, um, I think that uh, he was probably trying to save us from something a, a lot worse than death. Death isn't always necessarily the worst fate um, when you think about eternal torment and imprisonment in something like the Void, right? That's a bad so time. I think. Uh, yeah, I think uh, there's probably, I don't know, I think it would be cool. This is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see us come to a realization that the Titans are not good and allow us to, this is probably never going to happen, but, you know, allow us to basically join the, the forces of, like, the shadow and chaos and destruction and basically play, like, demonic races and shadow races and old god, like, creatures and kind of fight back against the Pantheon. I think that'd be pretty awesome, but I don't think that will probably ever happen. Uh... Yeah. I, yeah, kind of like Final Fantasy, yeah, to be honest. Yeah. I, I kind of, like, if I expected it to go anywhere, I would assume that, you know, after this expansion, because the old gods are, like, manifestation of the Void Wards, right? Uh, yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah so if, if they're the manifestations and we start fighting the old gods, and that's, like, the main, the primary adversary of the expansion, that would indirectly involve the Void Wards. And if the old gods are unkillable, basically, which they are, I mean, for all intents and purposes, really. So, wouldn't that kind of force the Titans to have to help us if the uh, Void Wards get involved? And can somebody invite me up for this rare here? Uh, the Rackton Harvester, well, I'm waiting on him. I think that's an interesting point of discussion because I've never heard the Old Gods talk about their Void Lord Masters. Yeah. And on that note, I've never seen directly the Army of the Light try to fight back forces of the Void directly. And I've actually never seen the forces of the Burning Legion who are allegedly out to destroy the old gods fight the old gods, have you? I've never seen that. In fact, in Val Shara, I've seen the Legion work with the old gods, and the Zoth specifically. That's kind of interesting. Well, how that... did that work? How does that happen? Well, well, I mean, Sargeras created the first satyr, Xavius, and Xavius oh, okay. at the behest of Nazoth and the Nightmare basically spread the Nightmare Corruption in Val Shara. And if you go to the Temple of Elune, there's demons working with creatures of the Nightmare. Uh, and e even if you go to the, the Legion website, you can read the portfolio of Rosavius in which it says that even in his nightmare form, he was uh, trying to defeat anyone who opposed the Burning Legion, which I think is kind of weird, considering he supposedly works for the Old Gods. And do you think but, that was an intentional uh, like thing, or do you think that's just kind of a, yeah. a, a blind spot in the writing? Because it seems like think, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Well, that's the thing, is that it I think... It no sense. This, it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot of um, hinting that's happened over a long period of time. But at the same time, I think uh, it's kind of like this, this underlying thing where you're kind of being deceived into thinking one side is the bad side when in reality you're working for the bad side. So like the uh, uh, the Naru in the cinematic with Illidan. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a great example. Yeah. That's kind of terrifying what we saw there. Uh, nice dude, cracking a cold one. Right. <laughs> um, yeah, so I. I I think that there's definitely holes in the writing, like, I think that the fact that Ashara just sent her minions to get the, uh, <laughs> to get the Tidestone, 
and just because we just decided to leave it there is kind of fucking stupid. Like I so, think that's yeah. Probably... I was actually curious about that. So <laughs> we just forgot about the tide stone. Was that it? Yeah, I guess. Yeah, what the like, fuck so that, yeah, man? what was that? I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> give, us the, give us the lowdown because you're the lore master here. Well, I, I guess that after we, I mean, after we we did what we did in the in the tomb of Sargeras, we did kind of follow the Legion through a portal that took us to their home world. So I could see how maybe we could kind of forget about what we. <laughs> I don't know. It, it just kind of seems like maybe we should go back and retrieve those or like. Or, or guard them or something in some capacity. But I thought it was like it was in the middle of Dalaran, though, right? Because you you get the tide stone from the quest from the Eye of Ashar, right? Yeah, but then you you do take them to Dalaran while we're collecting them, but then you take them to the Tomb of Sargeras for what we do uh, in the Tomb of Sargeras raid. So we just left it in Tomb of Sargeras. Yeah. So it's like yeah. leaving and your you wallet know... at home, except for your wallet is a <laughs> giant. Tide stone that can summon old gods and you know summon the legion through different interdimensional portals. Yeah, I mean that makes complete <laughs> sense. So somebody just kind of forgot about that. All right. So I, I was I'm curious about this, right? Because like, oh by the way, guys, please, please, guys, I, I need to keep begging here. Please invite me to a realm where the arachnid harvester is up. I really want to get this rare spawn mount today. Please, please. Um. So by the way, that was in a leak. By the way, someone put out a leak that said that that was going to happen, and they also in the same leak they said that. Magni was being deceived in the empowerment of the heart of Azeroth, and as you just witnessed with Ashara, right. that uh, that turned out to be true. Both of those things turned out to be true. So some leaks do have like legit info in them. Yeah, it's the only issue really to me is like how do you determine which leaks are real and which ones aren't real? Because from my perspective, yeah. it's like some things seem real, some things aren't. I mean, I I don't know. I think. I some... Go ahead. I think there's like factors of like viability and how reasonable it sounds. Yeah. I also think that the way the way that the person who's leaking the things is actually writing the leaks, I think is pretty important. Like if you're dealing with someone who is a pretty shitty typer and like doesn't really know how to spell things very well, and like they kind of seem like they're taking shots in the dark based on ra like random things that have happened in the yeah. lore previously, I kind of think that those are seemingly more evidently fake. 